Hello engineering students. In this video lesson you're going to learn how to make this cow catcher for the train project. You should have the drawings provided in front of you either on the computer or printed out. Let's get started. So Inventor should be open. Let's start a new part. Start a new 2D sketch. I'm starting on the XZ plane. I'm not going to draw on the origin um, because this line might interfere with my actual drawing. So I'm going to use the line tool and I'm going to roughly draw the bottom of the cow catcher first before I dimension anything. So the bottom of the cow catcher looks like what I just drew on Inventor. So take a moment to draw that. Once you're finished drawing, click dimension, click the bottom line, that's going to be 1.8. The two sides are going to be 0 0.25 by 0.25. From the point of the, it kind of looks like a stretchy house, to the bottom line, that's one inch. And then let's make sure that the point to the side is 0.9. Once you have those dimensions, it is all correct. Finish sketch. Click home. I'm going to actually change the view of my home button to this view here. So find that corner. Right click set current view as home to fit to view. Just like that. All right, so I need to, and we're going to be using the loft command in this video, which you might have done already, or this is your first time using loft. We're going to create a work surface that is 0.75 above what we just drew. So click on the uh, model browser, find the origin, expand that. You're going to see the XZ plane, which is where we drew the bottom surface. Find the plane tool here. We're going to click that. Click XZ move our mouse over to that surface and click and drag upwards and you're going to see a dimension box pop up that dimension is going to be 0.75 oops and click the check so there's our new work surface right above the original drawing now on that work plane we're going to right click new sketch and we're going to draw the top surface of our cow catcher. Now we're going to be using project geometry but we need to make sure that we delete that geometry that's projected before we finish the sketch. So click project geometry, click this line, and click this line. Those yellow lines we need to make sure we delete them because they might mess up our loft uh, later on and I was having a lot of problems earlier this is the fifth time I'm trying to record this video lesson and I want to do it the right way and make sure you don't run into any problems. So click the line tool and don't draw on the yellow line. Don't draw on it. Draw a line here. We're going to draw we're going to do the same exact kind of process. Now, you'll notice that my side here is not vertical. So I'm going to click the vertical constraint, make that vertical. Made everything else here kind of wonky. Don't worry about it. Click dimension, dimension this line to 1.2. Dimension this side to 0.25. Dimension this side to 0.25. Dimension the point to the line. That should be 0.75. And then from the point to one of the sides is going to be 0.6. So once you have those dimensions, we're going to use our constraints to get this in the correct position. Click on the vertical constraint. Find the midpoint of the yellow projected line and click it. And then find the midpoint of that surface and click it. That'll vertically align. We're going to do the same exact thing, but horizontally. So click the midpoint and the midpoint, and it'll put it right on the same spot 
That's what we want. We want to see that. Now, don't click finish sketch. Okay. Tap escape a few times. Click your yellow line and press delete on the keyboard to get rid of it. Do the same with this one. Delete it. We don't want those projected surfaces. They're going to show up in our model and it's going to be very annoying and difficult to work with later on. The work plane, we're going to right click on the work plane and uncheck visibility to get rid of that as well. Okay, finish sketch, click home, and you're going to start to see, oh, there's the bottom, there's the top. The loft command now should be very easy to carry out. Find the loft command. Click loft. Here's your sections. We're going to click on the top one first and then click on the bottom sketch and you're going to see a model kind of pop up. Everything should look similar here where your output is solid and click OK. Earlier I was running into problems with putting a sketch on these surfaces. So the workaround that hopefully will work in this attempt is to do the shell command first. You'll notice in your drawing you have an internal structure here that has been dug out or shelled out and the shell is thick the shell thickness is 0.1 so let's do that first so click on where is it find shell click shell and we want to look at the bottom of our cow catcher so we see the shell is kind of internally in that structure the distance, you're going to see the distance, the thickness right here, 0.1. That's what we want. But then we also see this button that says remove faces. So we're going to select the bottom face and it should remove it. So once you see what I have here, you can click OK. And now we have that taken care of. All right, now let's see if I'm going to run into any issues here. Move your mouse on this surface, right click, do sketch. Okay, Whew, it worked that time. That's exactly what should happen on your end because what we need to do now is draw this model, this part of the uh, extrusion. That should be really easy. We're going to use an offset. We're going to offset by 0.1. So find offset. Oh, wait, before we do offset, we're going to project the geometry. So click project geometry. And then once it's that whole surface, none of the extra crazy lines are popping up, you click it. And then click offset. And then move over the eight projected lines. And we're going to go inwards by 0.1. And then press enter. And that's it. Finish sketch. We're going to click extrude. And we're going to click that surface. We're going to cut into it by 0 0.05 0 0.05 and then click OK look at that okay, we're going to do the same exact thing over here right click new sketch it worked project geometry of the surface click offset click the outline offset by 0.1 finish sketch click extrude click that surface make sure you click cut Make sure it's in 0 0.05 inches. Click OK. Wonderful. Your next step is then to locate these pegs right here. Um, I think you guys can handle that. I think you're, you're capable of handling the pegs. So I'm just going to show you my example from way long ago that's what your pegs are going to look like and the one question that you're going to ask me uh, because you probably aren't paying attention to the video right now <laughs> is what's that chamfered surface dimension i don't know we eyeballed it so i'm going to right click edit feature and it's giving me a 0 0.01 chamfer so just do that um most likely this model is made out of wood so that would have just been sanded down by hand, those little pegs. Or, you know, it doesn't, it's not a crucial piece. It's going to fit into the body of the train somewhere. I think on the front. Yeah, on the front. 
I don't have the picture of the train available right now. I'll, I, had to, I'd have, I would have to look through my files. But this is what your train cow catcher should look like when you are done. And yes, please make the technical drawing for this model. If you can figure out how to make the technical drawing look like the example I'm giving you here, that would be amazing. If you do it the traditional way with the top, front, side, isometric, that is what I'm expecting to see. Good luck on this project, on this model. If you get stuck, ask for help, and I'll do my best to help you out.